Huh. I had no idea we'd run into you here. An unexpected pleasure. What are you two doing here? Huh? So it's not Dodo King? Hmm. Dodo King. So it was Dodo King that invited you to these islands. What a coincidence. What do you mean? I'll get to that. But first, I want to enjoy some more of this island sunshine. Master D. Luke might actually get a tan. Wait, did you two sail here? How did you get past the storms and fog? Storms and fog? We must have gotten lucky. When we arrived, there wasn't a patch of fog in sight. Now it feels like I'm on vacation. But as you know, a boat wouldn't have made it over. We had no choice but to use the same method of transport you did. Huh? You mean Devalin carried you here too? You seem surprised. Dragon flights are a fairly conspicuous affair. Eye-catching, one could say. Wait, so everyone found out that I... It would seem that people noticed a dragon, but not necessarily the cargo. Still, word spread quickly that a dragon was in town. Oh, thank goodness. Who knew that everyone's favorite bard had the power to summon dragons? I guess Devalin, hard fan of classical ballads. Wow! <laughs> I... I assume you two traveled here together? <laughs> you assume? The acting Grandmaster's jokes have improved of late. Do we seem like fitting travel companions to you? <laughs> there were actually two others that arrived with us on the island. They wandered off for various reasons. Various reasons? Let's just say that big egos aren't conducive to team cohesion. <laughs> An incisive observation. Nothing ever gets past the honorary knight. So, who were the two others? Albedo and Razor. Huh? Albedo and Razor? <laughs> Yay! Don't tell us you all came here for a vacation. Wait, Kaya, if you're here, who is overseeing the Knights of Favonius? The mighty librarian Lisa, of course. Not to worry. In some ways, she's stricter than either of us. Any evildoers in Mondstadt need to watch out for the next several days. Thankfully, Lisa's there. Um, where did Albedo and Razor go? Also, what was that white smoke I just saw? Ah yes, that. I should start with how we ended up here. We arrived by dragon, but as soon as we entered the island's vicinity, something caught Razor's eye. He the dragon's back and vanished into the ocean. We worried that he'd be in danger, so we also leapt off the dragon and glided onto this island. But as you can see, this is but a deserted land. Based on previous experience, I decided that it would be best to wait for contact. Well, D. Luke believed that Razor wouldn't return to find us. During our little dispute, Albedo quietly disappeared on us. Hold on! How come he was able to walk off, but you two are stuck here? <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps we're fated to be doomed together. Right, Master D. Luke? <sighs> Is that so?